there's something very calming about being out in the landscape. Uh, I, I just find it helps uh, give me a bit of a peace of mind. I can take a bit of time for myself to reflect on the day and just try and just find something that catches my eye, I suppose, really. There's just something about getting out into nature and trying to reconnect with the world around me that just, it, it sets my heart going, really. I've been taking photos for around about 15 or 16 years, something like that. I uh, started when I was 14, 15 uh, with a little camera phone. Um, when they sort of first came about, it was like 1.3 megapixels, so that'll kind of carbon date it for you. Uh, yeah, so I started from there and took a few pictures on that, enjoyed it, and then showed my granddad them, and he was like, that's not a camera. Yeah, take this one, and uh, he gave me his uh, Pentax MX, and from there it developed into a passion, really. Uh, landscapes, seascapes is definitely my sort of primary interest, but I do work commercially as well. So I cover everything from commercial interiors, architecture, portraiture, things like that. But really, what, whatever a business needs, I suppose. I found uh, Strike Rock Fort on Instagram, actually, and uh, I just looked at uh, some of the aerial shots that people had and thought, well, first of all, like, wow, what a place. How do I get there? And also, why aren't there more shots of the interior and things like that? So I connected with Nick, uh, the guy who owns it, and uh, we've been chatting on and off for a little while about trying to get something sorted out to go and visit. And uh, it co uh, sort of coincided nicely with him wanting to start running trips there. So I basically said, how can I do it first? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, that's led to today and uh, having a bit of an explore with some great people. I suppose each photo has a certain degree of pride attached to it, if that makes sense. So it's not necessarily about having like one standout one, but more like a collection of experiences that I can look back on and be proud of. I think the thing is about filters is that uh, they can make certain aspects of photography so much easier. So if you're shooting a landscape, for example, you can drastically improve your dynamic range by adding a graduated filter to bring in the sky, for example. And if you wanted to introduce any form of motion, so like blur water or anything like that, then filters is a really direct way to be able to introduce that effect into your photographs. Landscape photography, it really like, connects me to the world around me in a way that I don't think I'd be able to do without photography. It allows me to sort of observe in perhaps more detail or maybe even just with more focus than uh, I think I'd be able to do without it. So it's, it's really helped like, introduce a degree of mindfulness and actually kind of, I suppose, taking stock of what is around me and uh, just trying to create something beautiful from it, really.